as we know, there are new COVID outbreaks hitting the White House. At least five people in Vice President Mike Pence's circle testing positive, including his chief of staff. Our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, starts us off. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, Robin, good morning to you. And here we are with just over a week to go until Election Day. And now we are talking about yet again another outbreak of the virus inside the White House. This one in the office of the very person who runs the coronavirus task force. Vice President Mike Pence center stage on the campaign trail in the battleground of North Carolina. North Carolina is Trump country. This despite having close contact with aides who tested positive. At least five people in his inner circle contracting the coronavirus in recent days. His chief of staff, Mark Short, who was with the vice president on every campaign stop last week, including Friday night at a rally in Ohio. Short now in isolation and experiencing symptoms. Pence's body man, a personal assistant who accompanies him virtually everywhere, a political aide who recently traveled with Pence on Air Force Two, along with two other staffers. Wearing a mask as he headed for his rally, the vice president, head of the White House's coronavirus task force, ignoring the pressing question. Why are you so traveling and holding campaign events when people post you on COVID? In the coming days, his campaign schedule jam-packed with planned trips to Minnesota, South Carolina, and back to North Carolina. But CDC guidelines call for a 14-day quarantine after exposure to the virus. A spokesman saying Pence will continue to travel as planned, quote, in accordance with the CDC guidelines for essential personnel. Critics say campaigning for office does not qualify as essential. Sources telling ABC News the president's chief of staff wanted to keep the outbreak on Pence's team from becoming public. Mark Meadows now says that was because of privacy concerns. Sharing personal information is not something that we should do. And following the two largest daily case increases of the pandemic, Meadows also says the U.S. will not get the virus under control. We're not going to control the pandemic. We are going to control the fact that we get uh, vaccines, therapeutics, and other mitigation Why aren't we going to get control of the because, pandemic? But because it is a contagious virus, just like the flu. Yeah, but why Democratic nominee Joe Biden saying the administration is waving the white flag of defeat and that, quote, it's sadly no surprise then that this virus continues to rage unchecked across the country and even in the White House itself. This as President Trump is on a campaign trail blitz. We're rounding the turn. Even without the vaccines, we're rounding the turn. It's going to be over. Continuing to downplay the alarming rise in cases, even as the virus hit his own White House once again. Now, the White House says that the vice president and his wife both tested negative for the virus on Saturday and again on Sunday. But the big question this morning is whether Mike Pence will head to Capitol Hill for this final confirmation vote for Amy Coney Barrett to head on to the Supreme Court. Of course, if this happens, this will be a historic change, sealing a conservative majority on that court for potentially uh, years to come. Mike Pence had said he would not miss this for the world, but George Democrats, they are already pushing back on his attendance, saying that this potentially puts everyone there on Capitol Hill at risk, and they are saying this sets a horribly bad example. Yeah, we're going to be watching that closely today. Also, the White House, some word that the White House thinking about having an event at the White House tonight, if indeed she is confirmed by the Senate a celebration event. We all remember her nomination in the Rose Garden just a few weeks back. At least 12 people at that event contracted the coronavirus. Yeah, it's exactly that. The White House says that they are potentially planning for this, uh, what would be a ceremonial swearing in as early as this evening. It would take place outdoors, perhaps in the Rose Garden. Uh, but, you know, you just said it. It's really like a deja vu event, uh, going back to that announcement where President Trump announced her as her pick, as you said, more than a dozen people uh, at that event contracting the virus, George. Cecilia Vega, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.